Hello everybody, I'm going to be doing a watercolour tag with you today. I've cut myself a piece of 300 GSM watercolour paper. This measures seven inches long by three and three quarter inches wide. And I'm going to be using my Paul Rubin's Classical Artist Gucci or Gukai paints. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce these. These are the ones that I am giving away and I'm going to be announcing the winner later on in the video. So stay tuned to see if it happens to be you. I've been asked by a couple of people recently what brushes I would recommend and as you know I'm a beginner to watercolours so I don't want to spend a huge amount of money on my paint brushes. I picked this setup here artist brushes paint what you want by Fumui I think it's called I think that's how you pronounce it Fumui. I really like these brushes you've probably seen these in a few of my most recent um, videos so this is the beautiful box that they come in I just think the presentation is just absolutely beautiful that's what it looks like um, on the sides and the back. Um, I like the fact that they're in a box so that I can keep them all together and there are nine brushes in total in this set ranging from the smallest which is um, a zero up to the largest which is a size 16 I think the largest one is yep size 16 and they're just really nice to paint with these are squirrel hair brushes um, these are the two that I've picked out to work on the project today. Now this set here I paid £20.99 I think it was from Amazon if I can find it I'll leave the link in the description box below um, I think that's a really good price and I personally would just pay the extra for a fairly decent set I've had a couple of sets in the past that I've paid six or seven pounds for and the trouble is this is what happens um, the enamel on the wood just peels right off this is a set here by oh, in fact actually this one in fact it does I've got it here Stellum the brand of this one is um, and again this was another set that I had from um, Amazon. They look quite nice in the packet. I think this was £6 for the um, set of one, two, three, four, five, six um, brushes. And to be honest, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the bristles. They paint really nicely. These are sy synthetic bristles. It's just that I don't find it very um, appealing once they start to peel. This is another set here. Um, this is a Pro Art brush. And again, you can see that the wood has started to, to peel off. It's such a shame because I like these brushes. Again, these are about the six or seven pounds mark. Um, here's another one of the Pro Art um, brushes. This one's looking absolutely terrible. I mean, you know, it won't stop me using them. I'll pr probably um, use these for gouache because gouache is harder on your paint brushes than, than watercolours are. Um, but, you know, my set that I would recommend at the moment is the, um, the, the set by Fu, Fumi, Fumui. Um, if anybody else has used these or purchased these and has any experience with them let me know what you think as well or if you have any other recommendations I want to draw or paint a very simple leaf design and you can already see that I've done my stem um, just because I knew that that would be the most difficult I am also going to draw in some leaves just to make sure that I get the balance right I'm not very good at doing doing this freehand so I just figured if I draw these in in pencil then I've got myself a base to to work with it's just easier for me trying not to overthink this and trying not to be too particular about the shapes of the the leaves either don't want to be perfect um, and I think that looks about right to me. I might change this one here. That's um, looking a bit of an odd shape, isn't it? So let's, and that's a good thing. If you draw it in pencil first, let's um, maybe alter alter that one. Something like, like that. It's better. I've just fiddled around with the bottom two leaves and I'm happy with that shape now. So colour wise, let's have a look and see which colours I want to use. I want to use um, greens, obviously. So I'm just going to um, spray some of these, maybe some of this beautiful bronzy colour here as well. To start off by using a number eight paintbrush and some of this beautiful darker green here. Um, let's have a look, maybe dip... Um, some more water as well start off with the darker color towards the the bottom in fact actually i should have drawn my stem perhaps let's just paint that in first just so that we've got some um, a base to work with there we are 
and then carry on doing this this leaf here and of course I can alter the shape of them as well if I if I want to the pencil marks are just there as a basic a basic guide and I'm just going to keep moving my paper around as well just because I find that easier for me now I want to add some other tones into the mix as well. In fact, if I go deeper just towards the, the bottom and let that spread, I'm still finding it really difficult to judge how much water I need to, to use. Um, and that's probably a little bit too much. Maybe I could take some of that up with my, with my paintbrush. I'd also like to add some of um, this mid-tone green here as well. So maybe we can add a bit of this. This is more of an olivey green. That's a beautiful shade. Yep, you see I like I like that. Let's experiment with one of these leaves first and see if we if we like it. And then I'd like to add some of this bronzy color as well. You see that's just absolutely gorgeous. Now I've got too much liquid. Let's see what happens as that dries. Let's try um, another one. So again, um, using some of this, this darker colour. Let's paint another, another leaf. This green here is just absolutely beautiful. I really like these paints. I've been um, having a good play around with these. Now, these are Chinese star watercolours, hence the larger, larger pans. These are bigger than a full size pan um, and meant for Chinese art where you can get um, a really big paintbrush in them. Um, and of course, Chinese um, artists primarily use uh, um, rice paper. I'd like to have a try with with rice paper and see see how it fares, see what it looks like on, on rice paper. Not today, um, maybe that's a, another project that we can have a look at some, some other time. Um, let's add some deeper tones here at the base of the leaf again. Just trying to get some nice contrast and again I just want to add some of that beautiful bronzy colour. That's just absolutely stunning just at the at the base and I'm just going to continue to paint all of my leaves just like this isn't that just beautiful really happy with how my leaf is looking but I do think I want to come in a bit heavier with that bronzy colour just in the centre I love the way that that looks so I'm just adding a little touch more just to add a bit more contrast So we'll go all the way, all the way up. Again, trying to control the amount of uh, water. I'm happy with the colours that I've got in my leaves. And if I tilt it, um, let me just hold it up and see if you can see. Just look how beautiful the metallic shine is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to leave this now to dry naturally um, and then let's see what we can do next tag's dry enough for me to work on again now. Just look how pretty it is now that it's um, dried. Now I want to add some doodles which I think will funk it up a little bit but the background is just far too stark white. I have gone through all of my collection of inks to try and find something that will work with the background and of course I'm resorting to my good old faithful frayed burlap distress ink. I don't want too much um, on there so let's have a look and see if we can be subtle about this. I just want to get rid of that um, that stark whiteness. Um, of course you can always add more but you can never take it away so I'm just using a piece of parchment paper here in the background and I'm just going to go all the way around just to darken it slightly. Um, just add a bit of moodiness and some interest as well and um, just give it a bit of character. It looks so much better already. So I'm just going to build up my layers. Um, I just want it darker just around the absolute very edge. Um, and this is just one of these cheap makeup brush sets that you get on Amazon or eBay. Um, it came in a set of about nine or ten different brushes for about a fiver. Um, absolutely brilliant. To finish my tag off, I just want to add a few doodles. And I'm going to use my Deco Colour Premium Prime Premio Pen. And I am just going to 
add a few dots on the base of my, my leaves like this. Do I like it? I think I do. Try not to overdo it, Nina. This is the temptation when I get this pen out to completely overdo things. And I'm just going to add a few just on the base of each of the leaves. And I think that just adds a nice bit of, of interest. I really like how that looks. Isn't that pretty? Isn't this just gorgeous? I love the addition of the dots. Just look how pretty that is. Now, I feel as if it needs something else and I want to add some splatters. There isn't um, a gold in the metallic paint set that um, matches the dots that I've already added. So I'm going to attempt to use my paint pen. Um, and what I am going to do, in fact, let me grab an old paintbrush. Bone folder will do. What I'm going to do is just um, pump some ink just in the corner here. I don't know if you can um, see what I'm doing. I'm just pumping my pen. And then I am going to attempt to splatter. Here we are. We only want a few. Just to add a little something to the background. That's beautiful. So here we are. I'm calling my tag done. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with this. Now, of course, once I start doodling, I get the bug for it and I find it really difficult to stop. So I couldn't resist doing another one. And with this one here, I've added more leaves and done it slightly off centre as well, slightly off to the left, which I really like. Um, I've also added more doodling as well. I've added black and white uh, paint marker around the edges, also black and white little circles. I don't know whether you can see them at the base of the leaves. I really like that. And then I couldn't resist adding some splotches of gold in the background as well and I did that by mixing two colours together. I mixed um, the champagne colour and the lighter gold and just put little dabs on with my paintbrush. I think that's really pretty. What do you think? Which is your favourite? Um, I don't know, they've both got a different vibe about them. This one here is more subtle and vintagey but I just love the boldness of this one here. Anyway, I'm sure that you are all itching to know who has won the prize. So it is finally time to pick the winner of this beautiful watercolour set. So, of course, the lucky winner will be receiving this beautiful classical artist Gukai watercolour set, as well as some Paul Rubin's watercolour paper. I'm going to be using a random YouTube winner picker site called pickawinner.co to pick the winner. Um, I know that many of you had stated in your comments that, that you weren't on um, Instagram, and I had stipulated that you needed to follow along with me and Paul Rubin's to be in with a chance of, of winning. I just felt that that was um, a little unfair because many of the people that aren't on Instagram have been following me for several years. So anybody that left a comment will be in with a chance of winning. So I'm just going to go over to the pick a winner site now, pull out my iPad and let's pick a winner. So good luck, everyone. So here goes, let's pick a winner. And as you can see, I'm using pickawinner.co, which is just a random YouTube winner picker site. We had 284 comments in total. So good luck, everybody. Let's press that button. Pick a winner. And the winner is Brenda Myers. And she says, congratulations, Nina. Amazing accomplishment, but not surprising. Your videos are so inspirational. What fun I'd have creating with this lovely paint set. So beautiful. So congratulations, Brenda. Um, if you can send me an email. My um, email address is nina.ribina at outlook.com. Um, if you can send me your address, which I'll pass on to Paul Rubens, and they'll get the watercolour set and some watercolour paper sent out to you as soon as possible. So congratulations, Brenda, and well done. So once again, congratulations to Brenda. Um, and a huge thank you to Paul Rubens as well for providing the prize for today's giveaway. Of course, I'll leave the link to the watercolour set in the description box below for anybody who's interested but for those of you that like using larger paintbrushes this set is just absolutely perfect if you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some inspiration as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below let me know which one of these is your favorite do you like the um doodle heavily doodled one or the more subtle one um always interested to hear your thoughts but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon Bye for now.